Nothing in the world is perfect, and that includes video games. Mostly all video games have had at least one glitch, bug, or crash in its lifetime, whether purposeful or accidental by the players. Some are funny, some are annoying, some are straight up game breaking, and some are used to speedrun for the fastest clear time. And I myself have collected every glitch I encounter in video games, intentional or not. And I'll be showing them all in this new series called Glitchy Paradise. So for the first ever Glitchy Paradise episode, I wanted to start off with a bang. And why not start with the friendly neighborhood acrobatic himself, Marvel Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4. And since the second game is coming out very soon, and since apparently a remaster for this game is coming out as well, which, why would they do this? Someone please tell me. I need answers. This hurts me. And I wasn't sure how to categorize this video, considering there's small glitches and huge ones all throughout the story and DLCs. So I'll try the best I can with what I got. And of course, there will be spoilers for the game and its DLCs, so if you haven't played this game, I highly suggest you do so as it's an amazing game. Let's get started. So we'll start off with minor glitches by entering Fisk's tower at the beginning of the game and fighting the enemies leading into the elevator shaft. I came across a weird glitch where I hit the enemy into this certain spot, and since another enemy was around, I aired through a garbage can towards the one I was aiming at, and that resulted in the other one I hit to bounce up to the higher floor. Once I knocked him out, the game just put me back onto the lower floor only to go back up for the next combat tutorial, which I know was programmed to happen, but the bouncing part, definitely not. I think the AoE of the Aertho Blast knocked the enemy upwards, but the enemy was running instead of being staggered, so he flew higher than intended. And since the blast didn't take much damage, he was able to survive the attack. Next is more of a developer technique in the game, but I'll call it a glitch too. Once the NPCs run away from the action, they end up disappearing once they're out of frame. But if you follow them, they just stand there awkwardly, not knowing what to do. And of course, if you take the camera away and take it back, they do disappear. Okay, so let's skip a bit onto the Fisk fight, and during the fight, a weird glitch occurs if Fisk does his choke attack after a slam if you're at 1 health, or very, very low health. If you succeed the QTE, you'll be stuck in this pose spazzing a little while the game thinks you died. What is happening here is that his choke attack is supposed to do damage, but since I had no health left, the game kind of got confused as to if I'm alive or not since I was at 0 health in a cutscene. Next, once I got knocked out by the fire, the camera glitched and went under the map and through all the different rooms of the building until it arrived back to where Fisk and I was. Now what I think is happening here is two things. Either A, me not dying from Fisk confused the camera of the game, especially since I was mid-comboing him, so it just went to a random location in the map, or B, since I died from the fire, it thought I was in the burning room earlier in the map, so it went there and then corrected itself. Now the camera accidentally getting out of bounds is one thing, but doing it on purpose is another, and I was able to do just that with the photo mode option. Now quick side note, I find it really funny how you can take a happy selfie even in dramatic situations, like here with Miles or with Mary Jane when she's taken hostage. One for the grand, Miles. Anyways, in some places it's very easy to get the photo mode out of bounds. Like in the central grand terminal here before the Mr. Negative confrontation, there's part of the area that isn't modeled correctly, and part of the wall is farther than it should be, letting you see out of bounds just in-game. But with photo mode, you can get the camera out there and investigate the outer workings. However, most areas you still can see out of bounds, but you have to mess with the different modes of photo mode, more preferably the orbit mode, and eventually it'll clip through the roof and you can explore, which is much harder and can take some time to get. Also, photo mode is limited as you can only move around in an area around Spider-Man, so you can't see the whole map using this method. You can even go through buildings with this method too. Now I was actually able to get Spider-Man out of bounds himself and explore that way, but I'm getting a little ahead of myself and I'll save that for later in this video. So let's switch it up with some Mary Jane glitches. In the level Dinner Date, in this area after the first enemy, you can vault over this set of items and go on top of this chair. And in doing so, her leg gets stretched in an unnatural position through her clothes, which also helps you see this texture inside her shirt, which you aren't meant to see of course. Also, you can get these enemies here to move once they see you and get into their question mark state. The area they were at, I was able to climb on top of these items and go right behind this guy. Weirdly enough, he didn't immediately catch me. But when he did, not only did I go through him, but for a split second, the camera was under the map. Now if you hide, they won't catch you, but we'll look for you. And this enemy is not programmed right to vault over things, and is very clunky once he does so. I even managed to get him to walk up this metal plank and get stuck. But once I used a box to get his attention, he helped over the bar and got stuck in a falling animation, and didn't move until I got his attention again. Then he ended up fixing himself. You can even use singular boxes for precision detection. 
if you manage to get them knocked down without being seen. This lets one or two enemies detect you instead of all of them. Also, once I get the others to move, they either walk back to their spot, or walk around the map in areas that they think they're supposed to be, until they either find their spot again or get frozen in place behind an area they want to go, but someone is in the way so they don't move. Also, this enemy here tried to snap back to their default animation, but ended up freezing. I even managed to go into this back area, which although the game didn't expect you to be here, everything is still collidable. Well, except this table, for some reason. Also, when I went into photo mode, for a split second I saw another Mary Jane T posing in front of me. Now, I think this Mary Jane is used for cutscenes, but for some reason she was stored in this random area. Now, one area filled with NPC glitches is one thing, but let's head outside and explore every NPC, from enemies to civilians. First off, the civilians in this game have weird collidability issues. If you use throw items around them, they slip and fall, and sometimes they even fall through objects, the biggest one being buildings. And they clip upwards inside them until they're on the roof, and since the game thinks they're on the ground, knocking them off the roof makes them stand in the air. Sometimes they clip upwards up buildings and disappear, and sometimes they just stop midway through the building. Spider-Man should teach them the ways of the wall climb. But when you knock them into other things, like hot dog stands, they just stay inside them. But with vehicles or fences, they climb up them and float from them as well. Also, this civilian tripped for no reason and their animation glitched. And during a chase scene, the car ran over a civilian in the road. Don't worry, they're fine, but probably hating life if they're staying in the middle of the road. With enemies, if you push take down them on structures you can knock down, after you knock them down, the body just stays in the air, being able to be walked through. Weirdly enough, it's only with enemies that got perched takedown, as with enemies that just get webbed there, they fall with the structure. With these enemies here on the roof, for some reason they spawned in a way that broke their programming, making them infinitely fall. No matter what I did, I couldn't fix them back to normal. I was even able to ledge walk around them, causing me to be in the air. The game didn't count them as being alive, so it's not like I had to knock them out. However, when I tried the web zip onto a vehicle next to them, the enemies broke the zip, making me eventually just teleport to the vehicle. Here's a minor one that is hardly noticeable, but when it rains, civilians hold an umbrella, which is innocent on their own. But the game sometimes doesn't register to that, making them do animations that cause the umbrella to go through them. It's funny seeing the umbrellas go all over the place, while the NPC is standing there like nothing is happening. This glitch was recorded years ago, so chances are it's been patched, but worth sharing anyways. When I knocked out this prisoner with the whips, the whips glitched majorly and created a very mesmerizing light show. Now the light spazzing ended up stopping over time, and the light just froze all over the street. Probably this was caused by a physics issue with the engine. In the mission up the water spout, I was able to knock this enemy with a sword up on the upper bars, getting him stuck there completely until I tried attacking him again. Then he dodged and fixed himself. But it wasn't worth it. With these criminals, I got them stuck on the back of the car by webbing them there. Then when it took off, they were going for a ride. Then once it stopped and I had to open the trunk, they got flown very far. Now the reason I was able to do that was because they got attached to an item. They get flown as far as I throw the item, which is one of the most fun things you can do with the enemies that I highly suggest doing. Throwing them across the street, watching them ragdoll, or in some cases slamming them into walls or even steps. Getting their body halfway stuck in there. Oh, oh! This, this dude needs some time alone. I'll, I'll just, I'll just go. In certain areas of the story mode, enemies are standing next to the door. And in most cases, you can hit them through it. Now it's quite funny seeing them freak out but can't do anything about it. Also, when you use items towards them, some items glitch out majorly like this suppression matrix just sticking to the door and not activating. Back outside in this protest area, you can very easily push the cops, through the fences, through other cops, and even the stairs. I heard of undercover cops, but not underground cops. And no, I'm not sorry for that joke. Here a knocked out body hopped up in the air for some reason, which I don't know why that happened, maybe a physics problem. And in that same fight, a brute teleported, or learned super speed. In the prison, the knocked out prisoners were merged into each other, which, that's weird. 
Here in this hideout, if I stand in this specific spot, the enemies get confused on where I am, so they get stuck on the steps trying to reach me. No matter where they went, they still got confused. Now this one I'm very confused by. When you launch an enemy using a suppression matrix, and push them with a the concussive blast, they either go so far or so fast that I don't see them, or they disappear. Either way, they are gone instantly and I'm still curious as to why or where they went. Here's NPCs inside of each other, which happens quite often. In this glitch, one of the enemies continue doing dialogue that they usually would do when Spider-Man isn't around. But during combat, they continued until I knocked them out. You do not want to be late with the ship. Ever. Boss a tight ship. Enemies here jumped off the roof without me even doing anything. I wasn't even near them and they fell. Maybe it was a placement issue with the spawning. Or maybe they hated their life too like the guy earlier. Some NPCs walk right through walls or fences to get to the place they were programmed to walk to if the player is in the way, like right here with the subway as Peter, or here in the central grand terminal as Mary Jane. Here these enemies really wanted to reiterate that I've been here. A very funny audio issue indeed. Spider-Man's been here! Spider-Man's been here! Guys, looks like Spider-Man's been here! Hey, Spider-Man's been eyes. here! I need some extra eyes! With this guy, I gave him a double final blow, which kind of removes the term final blow now that I think of it. I think this either may be an audio issue, or the fact that I hit him super fast. Either way, his hospital bill is going to be pretty high. Here, the scared NPC stood above where he was supposed to be once the enemies got knocked out. Then when he went back to the ground, he uh, died. Probably from a heart attack. I don't blame him. A cop in this area after the crime event was holding a megaphone in a way that seemed like a gun was supposed to be in his hands instead. This happened a lot, and I'm unsure why. Maybe the game got confused as to what he was holding. Here are NPCs running through a car, because, like, that's how you cross roads apparently. NPCs are really glitchy in this game. And finally, this NPC repeated his dialogue once I saved him. Again, probably an audio issue. Bunch of criminals Thank to brighten you. your day. I think I need to look into a career Thank change. You. I think I need to look into a career change. Now there's a couple items in the game that's placed very weird, and I'm unsure if this is a glitch and a placement issue, or it's part of the game and it's a design flaw, but I'm going to show them anyways. There's this mailbox with a fire hydrant in the way, and no one will be able to get their mail with the way that it is. No big deal though, people use online anyways. There's also these dirt spots that clearly are floating as they probably are not supposed to be here. Now I haven't encountered many glitches like this, as they seem to be random, but it's definitely interesting anyways. Now I found an even bigger placement glitch than these two, but I'll show it later in the video. Now let's move on to a DLC glitch involving one level in specific called Trust Issues in the Silver Lining DLC. The main objective is to head up to the rooftop as Peter to eavesdrop the Hammerhead's thugs without being seen by anyone, and there's a few glitches regarding that. First off is a little loading issue where the scene was playing but nothing was showing. Which, that's fine, I don't need to see the game anyways. Spider-Man is too cool for sight. Then if you greet civilians on the street, the subtitles will say you're Spider-Man. He'll even say you Spider-Man lines. Please don't touch the suit. Spider-Man, what are you doing? You're not wearing the suit. Please, don't ask me to do the hand thing. You're breaking cover! We're losing him! Anyways, in the back of the three selected buildings, you have to climb up to the roof. But in specific spots, it counts as you climbing and then doesn't, which lets you climb walls while it's not safe. Doing so will help you explore the area close to the ground. Which, if they don't know that Peter Parker is Spider-Man by now, they have some serious problems. This can also help me get to the area in which the goons are at without triggering the next event, letting me go there without being caught. Now what's interesting is that there is an invisible barrier above them, which is weird considering there'd be no way of reaching here unless you do the glitch. So it's odd it's here in the first place. But it isn't too big, as I can still go down there and go right up to the goons' faces. Now since I technically didn't make it to the roof yet, they just stand there doing nothing. Also, while doing this building glitch, he constantly says the same line over and over again. And there's even some parts of the building that half have a safe sensor and some don't. So just an FYI if you ever do it yourself. I even got this weird animation glitch to occur too. Once you make it to the roof though, if you fall off, he does a very painful pose to web swing back up. As well as a 3 frame falling animation. Which I'm assuming is a glitch because usually the animations in this game is smooth and natural. Even in selfie mode, the head just doesn't look natural in certain poses, as he doesn't even look at the camera like he's supposed to. And some of his neck clips through his shirt. Maybe they didn't adapt to Peter Parker web swinging since it doesn't last very long. 
There's even spots that you can get stuck in, and he constantly web swings, like here in this bush. Don't worry, Peter. Almost got it. Almost there. You're gonna make it. I believe in you, pal. Now with the crimes in this game, they expect you to go at them at full speed. However, if you try to stealth them, the game very much breaks in several ways. Like right here where this enemy just froze in place with no animations. In this one, usually the enemies pop out of the crashed vehicle, but if you stealth everyone outside, they just stay inside, not moving at all. Even after I hit the vehicle and it burns on fire, for some reason, they are still stuck inside, not even trying to get out. No matter what I throw at them, they wouldn't budge, until I kept attacking the vehicle till eventually they decided to do so. Then after the crime event ended, a truck was in the way of the camera once I saved the cop from the vehicle. Now, not only does most times Spider-Man says his regular loud lines and no one notices him, which I think is really funny. If only you guys put this much effort into your fashion choices. But also, if I knock out all the enemies holding hostages, the hostages still yell dialogue as if the enemies are still here. You've got no right to take that food. Yeah, that belongs to the city. Please, just let us go. We, we won't tell the cops. We won't tell anyone. Yeah, we promise. Just let us go. Maybe Spider-Man is the enemy now. We're having trouble securing another truck for you. Take it easy. Nobody has to get hurt today. Here where I tried to stealthily perch take down an enemy, an event trigger stopped me midway through the animation, and the enemy just disappeared. I couldn't find the model whatsoever. A couple Sable enemies were bugged out as well when being stealthy, like this one right here being indecisive about where to stand. And this one here where he was supposed to fly, but then an animation as if he was on the ground. Okay, moving on from stealth and on to actually playing the game. Now during a mission where I'm supposed to follow the truck, I managed to get stuck on the cop car in front of it, unable to move until the cop car stops. Then when I jumped, I got knocked off, which only happens if they are moving, so maybe the trigger was delayed until I touched it again. Next is a minor nitpick, but usually after you stop a car and a truck arrives, it arrives instantly, but in this moment, other vehicles were in the way, and it didn't arrive till it looked away, so the vehicles can despawn, giving room for the truck. And I wasn't able to see what happened if I didn't look away, but I'd expect it to never arrive. Also, low poly truck. Next is a very weird glitch, where I was supposed to defuse a bomb in a truck and chase the truck to do so. Now what happened is that I knocked the first enemy out, and instead of Spider-Man knocking the other ones out, including the driver, he just jumped off and the truck stopped. Then I defused the bomb immediately, but after that, Spider-Man kept mentioning having to defuse it, despite me already doing so. Even after the crime event ended, and I got the crime tokens. Bomb in that truck. Gotta get it away from civilians. Also, the enemy that I knocked out of the truck was still under the map as his head was still sticking out, but only in certain angles of the camera and is flickering. You can't even see him in photo mode, which is really odd. Now maybe the reason this happened is due to a street pole being in the way of Spider-Man when he was on the roof of the truck causing the rest of the event to get interrupted and the game to think the bomb wasn't defused, since I didn't exactly stop the truck myself. Now this next glitch might be patched as it was recorded two years before the others were, but when I stopped this car I was able to go right inside it through the top, which I think the only reason this happened was due to a collidability issue. And once I got out, I wasn't able to go back in. This glitch is a pretty funny one where once the crime was over, the cops both aimed at their own car. Now I thought there was something under it, but there wasn't. They just really didn't like their job I guess. Next, in the mission Error, Found Not Found, one of the NPCs didn't spawn, and the enemy was just attacking the air. Which, okay, you do you dude. Sometimes you just have a bad day and need to take your frustration out on the air. I, I'm not judging. Finally, this crime spawned right in front of my face, and not only did cars despawn, but also a car blew up in front of me. I'm guessing all this was supposed to happen when I'm not near, so it didn't look as weird and sudden. Now sometimes the objects in this game have weird collision issues, like going through poles, mailboxes, newspaper boxes, and even objects that are supposed to block your path, like these metal parts as miles. However, objects can also have collidability when they shouldn't, like right here when you throw a garbage can and where it was before was still able to get vaulted over, as if it never moved. Same happened right here with these mailboxes when I hit them, and weirdly enough I was able to do this glitch multiple times. There's even special cases where if you push giant structures down, usually you get pushed back automatically. But if you dodge forward immediately after, Spider-Man just takes it and goes through them. Even in the mission Straw Meat Camel, part of the obstacles didn't load, yet was still vaultable and collidable. I guess maybe the objects are separate from their collidability slash vaulting hitboxes.
Now here are some glitches that occurred in the game that I'm not sure where to put, so I'll just bundle them all in one. So the first one is a pretty crazy one. Basically metal gates appeared in the middle of the road. I don't know how it happened, might have been a random loading issue and made it spawn here, or it's a placement issue and it's supposed to be somewhere else. Regardless, the gates are climbable, and since the cars can go through the gate, for some reason, I wondered what will happen if I'm on the gate when the cars come. When I go right through the cars, or they push me depending on where I am on the gate, which gave me another idea. I wanted to go through a big car, and I did, but I jumped, so I got stuck in the car and hits the ride. Which was fun at first, but then I realized I was stuck. After a long few minutes of trying to escape, I realized there's no way out, so if anyone happens to get stuck in a big car, just restart to the nearest checkpoint or save and you'll be good. Then in the mission Dual Purpose, once I discovered the Fisk items and headed out, I stayed on the outside wall of the building where the exit was, which weirdly enough the train pushed me away from. I don't know why that happened at all, but what I do know is that the train is out to get me. Another glitch happened when Yuri was having a conversation with Spider-Man, and a random enemy showed up and after I knocked him out, the dialogue for that and the conversation played at the same time. I'm sure Yuri was definitely confused after that. We can't act without I better be more careful with my got that, right? That's why I'm hoping you can keep Next, after there was a loading problem with the game and there was no sound and nothing was moving, despite nothing happening, the dialogue progressed as normal. Then after everything was fixed, Spider-Man did a T-pose for a second before immediately getting fixed. While chasing the truck full of gunmen with Jeff trailing behind, I managed to find these two cars stuck inside of each other which isn't the first time I encountered this happening. Here is a cop car in a taxi, and a car in a cop car, then two cars stuck together again outside of a mission, then two cop cars stuck together. I don't exactly know why these are cars, might be a placement issue, but it's still quite funny to see these random occurrences happen. Also while on a chase, like with a car or a truck, the vehicles in the road despawn once they're in the way of the vehicle, which usually doesn't happen, but sometimes some cars just can't help but want to be an obstacle. Sometimes when you stop the vehicles, the ones next to them disappear as well. Not even in a chase, too. When just fighting enemies, they despawn for no reason. Even outside of combat, the cars still despawn, from one car to many cars. Guess traffic isn't really much of a problem in this city. Here is a minor web swinging animation glitch where he just dives at the wall, not readjusting himself until I do it for him. Now I was pressing the R2, so he should have changed animations and ran up the wall but for some reason he just decided to get a face full of wall instead. There's a couple times Spider-Man acts very odd and breaks the animations, like even here when you perfect dodge and he webs the wrong guy. Then when you press the triangle to do the instant knockout, he does it next to the enemy instead of right at him, till the game fixed itself. These animations and combat glitches aren't very common, but when they happen, it really is a throw off. Next, when I head to this area, you can see a bunch of people close together, but once I got closer, Everyone despawned right before my eyes. I'm not sure why this happened, but it might have something to do with the radius of the Sable outpost next to it, probably preventing the NPCs from being an obstacle towards the mission. In the level with Mary Jane in the Grand Central Terminal, if you use Spider-Man to help you take out the enemies, if you watch him, he just takes them up there, just stays in place for a little bit, then despawns. Guess they just didn't expect people to look up. Next up in the Mr. Negative fight, I noticed that he wasn't fighting me, and there was no action even happening. I was wondering what happened to him, until I noticed that he got stuck in between here, which I don't know how, but I'm not complaining. Hitting him and breaking the fence gets him unstuck, so it's not very beneficial as more it's just funny to witness. Now outside in the open world map, there is tons of fully developed models, houses, and buildings, all looking super detailed and beautiful. Well, except these NPCs on this boat. Now these are very clearly visible, and are very scary to look at as their head is all blocky and low poly with a face texture, like something from the old PlayStation 1 days. It's not even a loading issue either, they're always in the map. Guess they just didn't expect people to see them. Mom says it's my turn on the Wii. Next glitch is a UI issue, where although my web shooters were full, it was completely red and acting as if they were empty. Even after shooting it still thinks it's empty. It works for all the gadgets too, oddly enough, and only gets fixed by switching to a gadget that is actually empty, then switching back. Next, after you find Black Cat's hideout, if you don't take out the Sable outpost next to it, use Spider-Man to go to this certain spot inside the hideout during dialogue, and that causes the dialogue to not work and be silent. It cuts off Yuri and her UI is just there in pure silence till it's supposed to hang up. I think I hurt her feelings, guys. Moving on, there's a weird animation glitch if you run on this wall onto the right, 
As long as you hold R2, Spider-Man just freezes in frame, not moving at all. Now it works every time and I have no idea why. Maybe a parkour issue with this mission. After the mission though, if you head back to the area, there's some lighting issues, where it's from very dark to well lit. Next is a placement issue with this coat on this chair in Doc's workplace. Now I came back later in the game and it was still like this, and I'm unsure why. There's a weird damage buff with a fire in the mission Straw Me Camel, where usually fire chips 5 health off you, but the ones at the end insta-kill you. Not sure why that's a thing, maybe to prevent people from walking past the helicopter and getting out of bounds. Which I actually was able to do, but I'll explain it later. During combat sometimes, the enemies could do really weird things, like go through cars when you knock them out, sometimes go through cars depending on when and where you web-sling them, and many more related to the crimes in general. Here's extra DLC glitches that couldn't fit anywhere else in this video. Now the DLC seem less polished and glitchless than the original game, so some aspects of the main game are bugged, like the smokestack here that was destroyed. In the distance, it appears as if it's fine, but once you get close, it's not there. But its rim is, well, its collidability, letting you stand on an invisible ground, which is weird because this always happens in the DLC, regardless of how far in the game I am. Also there was a roof in the game that had weird vaulting placement, letting me stand on air here as well. Now in some parts of the DLC, the UI of the game broke and gave prompts and instances where it's not supposed to, like here in this cutscene with the zip to point, and here where it told me to grab an item way far away from where I was at, which, if anyone was curious, was a box. Next is a minor loading issue, where dialogue overlapped. We've seen this in the main game too. MJ, Imagine working here nine I found to Hammerhead's five. plans to well, use this as a midway living. point for transporting Sable caches. Here's another vehicle glitch in the mission jury rigging, where there was a non-collidable car. Both the enemies and I were able to go through it. But it's not just one car, it's a whole row of cars that are non-collidable. Even a cop car went through one of them. During web swinging, an animation glitch occurred, making him do a random weird flip in the air. Weird flex by the man, but okay. Now here's a very weird glitch, where when we accept the screwball challenges by waving at screwball, Sometimes Spider-Man just drifts away or rotates away from the tables when he waves. Look, he's waving at you. Now here's some NPC glitches in the DLC, starting with me pushing a cop into the cop car he was programmed to go inside, causing him to get confused and just stand in the middle of the road. Here in the mission The Bar With No Name, the hammerhead thugs we were supposed to eavesdrop a spider bug was programmed to walk in front of the pool table. However, with other NPCs in the way, the one enemy had to get an alternative and go through them, literally, and the other one spun around, blown away at the ghostly powers. Here's one of Screwball's fans deciding not to kill me for some reason, or he's just getting exercise, probably both. Here an enemy got knocked out before I was able to do the final blow, which usually they don't get knocked out until I do it, but if I'm wrong, let me know. Now the DLCs introduced new enemies with Sable Gear, and those enemies aren't really polished as well as they should. Here one teleported, then went through the stairs when I knocked him out. This one climbed up a rail that no longer is there. And this one was bugging out on the rubble, animation-wise. These enemies teleported quite often, and were very buggy, which really sucked when fighting them. Now with this cutscene, an enemy was in position where they were supposed to, so they moved to their spot on camera. Oddly enough, this happened a few times when I had loading issues, which is odd thinking that they all move to the air as they're supposed to, and just stand still when Spider-Man is watching like booze from the Mario games. And finally, chasing this truck at the end of the aiding a human mission shows that eventually they just despawn. So let's go ahead and get on with the bigger glitches, since that's the cherry on top of this very webby ice cream. Or maybe it's the ice cream itself and the minor glitches are the cherry. I don't know, depends on the person I guess. Anyways, let's talk about cutscene glitches. Now since all cutscenes in this game runs in real time, a minor loading issue or hard drive problem in the cutscene breaks. Now I've only encountered a few, some quicker than others. Like Doc Ock turning into a crazy lighting mess, then he proves he has telekinesis by making his phone float. You want me to then towards the end of the cutscene, a lighting problem occurred when Spider-Man saved Osborn. Then after Mary Jane saved Spider-Man from the burning building, me. once they started talking because over the rooftop, the, the cutscene skipped and dialogue overlapped with more Already lighting changes for a few seconds. Saved, you know? Then as Mary Jane's hair tries to catch up to her head for a couple frames, Miles comes in showing he's got telekinesis as well, by making water bottles float mid-air. So I got one of each. Am I interrupting? No, um, 
MJ, Ms. Watson, and I were just talking strategy. Strategy? That's right. The city is in danger. It needs our help. All of our help. All right, well, call the play, coach. Okay. Divide and conquer. Then Spider-Man does a secret yoga move that knocks the hair off of Mary Jane, and the glitches stop. Now, some cutscenes have similar glitches like that. Some have random items show up like a boat, and some have dialogue overlap into an audio mess. There was even glitches where things spaz out and not characters. Hey. Hey. Where's Otto? Gone. I would not worry about him right now. He needs a hospital. No. No hospital. Feast. Or objects aren't where they're supposed to be, like the phone in Spider-Man's hand. I don't know how he's texting Mary Jane right now, but I'm kind of jealous at his skills. Oh, you think? Sometimes objects get in the way of the camera too, but that might not be a glitch and more just happened because I got the box to get in that specific spot during the gameplay. But I digress. Now there are so many more different things that can happen to cutscenes. Some I haven't even encountered. But I personally think A plus starts son of a glitch on Spider-Man represents those varieties way better than I can. So if you want to see glitches not included in this episode due to a lot of them being patched, go check out his video. Link is in the description. Now on to the biggest part of this video, out of bounds glitches. And I have quite a few to show, most of which being done using what I like to call the bird flap method. Let me explain. So let's head back to Fisk's tower in the mission the main event and into the burning part of the building. Go to this corner of the room with the pipes and bird flap in between these two until you're somewhat stuck up there, making it look like you're constantly falling. Basically the way you bird flap is just spam circle then X. Repeating those steps really fast makes him spaz out and push himself in areas he's not supposed to. Then face towards this horizontal pipe and use the air whip kick towards the three way intersection and boom, you're out of there. Now it is repeatable so if you want to try it yourself I highly recommend as it is very fun to explore. You might be able to manage to get out of there without the web kick too, for people who aren't in New Game Plus. I haven't tried it personally though. Now the bird flap method can really help push Spider-Man out of bounds using sloped areas like vents or wheels. There's also this area right here that you can see out of bounds with if you stick yourself in this corner. Now I myself haven't been able to get out of bounds using this method, but I have seen people that have. Another out of bounds glitch is in the mission up the water spout, by bird flapping at this vent and using it to push yourself out of bounds. Now what's interesting about this is that it loads the entire elevator shaft, and even some of the room on the very top, but only items. There is a gray area around it, which lets me web swing. Now if you open the elevator door back in bounds after defeating the enemies and then going out of bounds, you can activate the checkpoint triggers out of the bounds. Now do not go through this piped area out of bounds, as it can softlock the game. I learned that the hard way. Anyways, if you activate all checkpoints and go through the gate on the ground, you can activate the cutscene, but have no ground whatsoever, which is very interesting to see it running without anything. There's Standish. Okay, now what? Okay, enter your clear. password. Hope Standish is all right. Shh. But after the cutscene ends, all the enemies fall and end up getting knocked out. Then the game softlocks because it thinks the enemies are alive. Even if they did get knocked out afterwards, I don't see any way of opening the door, considering you need to be on the ground and, well, you know. But you can't explore this yourself and see any other methods. This could even help speedrunners. Here's another one on the mission Wheels Within Wheels, where you use the wheel on the elevator on the right to get out of bounds. Basically, using a bird flap method, you flap on this wheel on the elevator and push yourself upwards and outside of the rooftop. Now it's so interesting seeing the outside halfway developed for the sake of cutscenes. Yeah, got it. If we can overload it, that could force the door open. For the win. I've been working on electric Gadget webbing. Man, huh? This is the perfect Remind field me of test. My son. Sit Started tight. Taking apart the TV when he was five. You can also go to the basement area, but be careful as some areas you can get soft locked. This glitch is repeatable, but also be careful as you can get stuck on the roof if not done right. Now this out of bounds is a little more complicated. In the mission Straw Me Camel. Basically, you have to go up this pipe and get stuck in between the roof part and the pipe like so. Then do a wall dive off of the roof part in this direction, and if you did it right, you'd be floating on the roof. Now this can be very tricky to do so, as I've only been able to repeat it a couple times, then couldn't do it again. But if you manage to do it, then you'll be infinitely falling. 
even having a dive animation. Now you can use the air web kick or air dodge recovery to maneuver around. Now I air dodged in this area and somehow managed to go outside, but I was stuck in this vent box and couldn't get out no matter what I did. So be careful when you do this glitch as there are many places to get stuck. Now I was actually able to get out of bounds in two ways. One of which being a wall dive off of this spot that I mentioned and somehow being pushed upwards and out of the roof. Or the other way which I found accidentally. Basically I was just playing the game like normal and I managed to push myself through the glass and into this room that isn't supposed to be accessible to me. Now I thought I was stuck until I was able to jump out of bounds in this area by pushing myself against the wall and just pressing the X to backflip. Instead of going backwards, I did it through the wall and got pushed through. Now the outside of the map is fully explorable, but there isn't much to see as it is acting as normal, just without the random crimes in the map. Now you can't web swing though, so you'd have to find other means of traversing. But back to the building, I was supposed to activate a cutscene by interacting with this helicopter at the end. However, since I'm outside, it's just hanging there. So I can go on top of it and it surprisingly is collidable. Now if you interact with it on the other side of where you're supposed to, the cutscene plays with you on that opposite side until it corrects itself. Now here's another one in the mission Getting Deep in the Silverlani DLC where you use this pipe to get out of bounds. Now this one is much harder and trickier to get, so if you can replicate it, it's very beneficial as it helps you skip the entire level to the end where Sable is held, which can really help speedrunners. Also, after you die, the game still thinks you're at the beginning, so it plays dialogue from the beginning as you're fighting. You can still beat the level though, so regardless if it knows where you are or not, you're fine. Here's another DLC out of bounds in the Turf Wars mission, Blindsided, where you flap on this corner and can get out of bounds. Now it's really dark, but there is a lamp there that helps with pushing yourself out there. And this is also a level you can skip to the end and trigger an event. They repurposed the old security system. There's even out of bounds glitches in a couple hideouts, specifically Olympus hideouts. In this one with the train, you can use the roof design to get out of bounds. Now I wouldn't recommend this one since there seems to be a barrier around the area you can get out from, which is odd, but I would recommend this part right here, which you can use to explore the entirety of Out of Bounds. Weirdly enough, there's a whole barrier around this map, preventing you from dying. It's very odd they did this since other Out of Bounds maps they didn't. Also, there's extra items on the very bottom, seemingly unused assets. And there's one in this one too, with the humanitarian supplies, where you push yourself out using the boxes and the metal shelves in this spot, they're a bit harder to do, but they're still repeatable. Now this one does not have a barrier, so you can die if you fall off. Now what is so cool is seeing the basic default texture on both maps. They are not only a platform to stand on, but an interesting piece that is still in the game. Alright, let's go to the mission out of the frying pan, and in the jail cell area, there's these pipes that you can also use the bird flap method with. Just pull them out with the grab ability, and after that just flap on top of them until you're out. It would also help flapping on the concrete part. Now again, it is repeatable, and as long as you push yourself halfway through the roof, just keep going and you'll get yourself out. Just be careful though, and try to grab onto one of the walls when you get out, as you can fall and die. Again, learn that the hard way. And there you have it. That's all the glitches I've encountered in this game as of today. This is my first ever glitchy paradise, so how did I do? Comment your opinions and feedback down below. And if you have any games you'd like to suggest for future glitchy paradises, Comment down below as well, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching everyone!